Hello everyone, Ravi here from Lama Index. Welcome to this video series on uh, agents. So to start with agents which we call data agents in Lama Index or specifically knowledge workers within Lama Index. So these are designed to interact with various types of data and this data can be unstructured and structured data. And also unlike uh, query engines uh, in a typical rack pipeline, data agents can dynamically interact with data sources and even external API sources as well. So they can ingest new data and uh, adapt based on the information they process from all these sources. So in simple, data agents have access to different tools like uh, Slack, Gmail, or uh, rag tools uh, which are query engines over uh, your personal data uh, like basically query engine tools and these ca agents can interact with these different tools to complete the task based on the user message right so this is the overall idea of uh, data agents and then uh, the core components uh, of data agents are one is uh, reasoning loop and the other is tool extractions. So let's see how it works. So when a user message comes to an agent, it basically fetches conversation history and based on the user message and conversation history, uh, using reasoning loop, uh, it selects one, one or more tools from the list of tools provided to complete the task for the given user message. So this is the whole end-to-end -end workflow for any agent abstraction. And uh, so here reasoning loop is a um, decision making process to determine how agent interacts with the various tools provided to agent. And then tool abstractions are basically a set of APIs or tools to fetch data or alter it making informed decisions based on the task uh, the user provides through a message right so on the reasoning loop end currently we support react agent and function calling agent LLM compiler agent so react agent can work with any uh, chart or text completion element point and function calling a agent is basically a unified abstraction uh, that uses uh, function calling capabilities of different LLMs and then uh, LLM compiler agent uh, enables an efficient way of doing par parallel function calling with LLMs. And then on uh, tool abstraction side, we have two different types of tools. Uh, so function tool that allows users to easily convert any user defined function into a tool. And then query engine tool is something that wraps an existing query engine or basically this is specifically converting a rack pipeline into a tool. And then we have a uh, lot of tools uh, available in Llama Hub that you can check out uh, where you can use these tools uh, and then uh, create an agent like, framework for yourself. Like uh, as I mentioned Slack or Gmail or uh, any Google search, SERP API Bing, uh, Bing as well. So there are a lot of tools available that you can uh, make uh, your agent interact with fetch some information or process some information and get the information and process it again, right? So you can check a lot of these different tools available in Llama Hub uh, provided in the link here. And then in this tutorial series, uh, mainly I'll be concentrating on uh, React agent and then function calling agent uh, and uh, retrieval augmented function calling agent wherein you have set of tools, long, uh, huge number of tools and based on the user task or message, you retrieve some of these tools and compute the task. Uh, so that's how uh, retrieval augmented function calling agent works. And then controlling agent reasoning loop. So sometimes uh, you don't want your tool output to be sent to uh, LLM. Uh, we'll walk through an ex with an example. Uh, so whenever it is not needed to send your tool output to um, LLM, we basically disable uh, return dict which means you don't say, uh, you ask the agent not to send your output to the uh, tool output to the LLM, um, right? So, and then there is stepwise controllable agent as well, uh, which is uh, 
basically to control uh, the next step taken by the agent um, and then even provide a human feedback if necessary so we look all uh, these uh, different kind of agents with examples with different llms uh, with open ai mistral and uh, anthropic so this will be an interesting series on agents um, do watch out for the next uh, video um, see you there thank you